RSV is a virus that we actually all probably get infected with every winter that makes us feel bad but doesn't make us very sick. It just so happens that in very predisposed populations, i.e. Premature, former premature babies and babies with some lung disease, it can make them pretty sick. RSV can also cause a, a term baby who's not predisposed um, to get pretty sick. The RSV rates are the highest in the late fall uh, months through the early spring months. This year it started, we started seeing it earlier to the extent that we have more patients hospitalized earlier and we've started some of our specific preventative measures earlier than we typically do. There are little viruses and droplets that get in the nose or in the eyes and uh, cause an infection starting there. RSV starts off mostly with cold-like symptoms, just like any other cold that you and I know about. When it be starts to become a problem in our former premature infants is when it gets in their lower airway. So a couple things that you'll see, they're just breathing harder. They may not be quite as pink as they typically are too. One very very significant complication of RSV disease in a former premature infant is they can forget to breathe. It's called apnea. For parents that, that are concerned that their babies have symptoms consistent with RSV, number one, if things are going well, they're eating well and breathing well, they're just having a little bit of a cold, do not overreact, give your pediatrician a call. Obviously, if your baby is sick enough so that they forget to breathe and you're worried about that, or they're breathing really hard, really fast, and you're very concerned about them, then they need to get to medical care more quickly, and they should go to an emergency room. And if they're really sick, you should actually call an ambulance. Use your pediatrician as a great resource. We tell parents whose babies are at high risk that for the first winter, they kind of have to be hermits. Stay at home as much as possible. Some risk factors are smoking, for RSV prevention, as for prevention of many other problems, hand washing is critical. See, if you think you're sick, then unfortunately you may have to limit your exposure to the baby to the extent possible and realistic. Any excuse to breastfeed your baby is a good excuse. The immunity that you provide against RSV, Di uh, diarrheal illnesses and so many other things is really profound. We call breast milk nutrition, but we also call it medicine.